Hey everyone, so today I'm going to go over the features of what makes an ACR Viper different from the standard Viper. Uh, the Viper ACR debuted in 1999 and was available as an option with, until 2002 as part of the second generation Viper. Uh, it was a $10,000 option and it came with uh, a few features, so I'll go over each feature one by one. Uh, this is important if you're looking for an authentic ACR. Uh, I have seen people try to pass off standard cars as ACRs by putting a few of these options on, but I'll go over every single one so you can tell whether or not uh, an ACR is real, as you cannot tell by the VIN. Uh, all right, it was listed as the competition group in the window sticker. Uh, first thing, the 18-inch silver wheels. These wheels were made by BBS. They were made especially for this car. They are the same dimensions as the standard cast polished five-spoke wheels. There's no difference in the dimensions of them. Uh, they came with the same tires as well, but these wheels are a little stronger and a little bit lighter. Uh, I personally think these are probably some of the best wheels ever put on a Viper, although they are very hard to clean and they get dirty very quickly. But these are an authentic set of BBS wheels made specifically for this car and it has a uh, black Viper center cap logo. So these are the correct wheels that you'll see that have uh, BBS markings on them. They don't have the uh, ring of bolts around them like you see on some of the aftermarket wheels. All right, next thing, fog lamp delete. They were, as a weight savings, they removed the fog lamps and just put a piece of plastic there in its place. Uh, some guys would put uh, brake cooling kits on there in place. It just has a plastic plug on there from the factory. It was up to you whether or not you wanted to put brake cooling ducts on there if you were actually racing the car or not. All right, next thing. Uh, heater, no air conditioning, and a radio delete. Uh, I'll go over those a little bit later. This car has the comfort package on it, so it actually has a, a, a air conditioner and a radio. Uh, the five-point racing belts. They're pretty easy to identify. Along with the standard three points, it came with a set of racing five-point belts. Now they have the ACR logos on them. Uh, on some models, the center release was different from 1999 until partway into 2001. They used this release. And then probably around midway or so through 2001 and 2002, uh, this centerpiece was different. It doesn't have this lever, and it has the Viper symbol uh, logo in the middle of it. So that's also kind of a way to tell which year it is, but this is your standard adjustable five point. All right, next up, the ACR badge. Uh, on the outside, the only way to, uh, the only logos for the ACR were on the hood on either side. You have it on this side, and then on the opposite side of the hood, there was nothing on the front of the back. So you see a Viper with ACR stickers on the front of the back, they were added on. Some of these were different colors depending on body color. Uh, I know like on the yellow cars, they were black, and on the silver cars, they were blue. So there are a couple different colors that those came in depending on which body color you chose. Uh, air cleaner, low restriction. This was a two-part addition. You had the smooth tube intakes that were added, both sides, which were a common uh, Viper upgrade, as well as dual cane and air filters on the inside. It gave a, the vehicle a claimed 10 horsepower increase. The suspension, the competition suspension on it. This was probably the biggest change for these cars was the adjustable, rebuildable suspension. For 1999, it came with a set of Coney's, and then from 2000 to 2002, they were made by a company called Dynamic Suspension, which is now part of Multimatic. This differs from the standard Viper suspension, as this is fully adjustable. You can adjust the ride height with these small pins, these holes for the pins. Uh, this has a remote fluid reservoir for extra fluid to keep the shocks cool. Uh, the spring rates are much stiffer, and you can adjust the compression with that knob and up here there's a little red knob that's for adjusting the rebound so it it's pretty easy to tell by this it has this gold and blue color uh, I'm not sure about the conies I think they were either dark blue or black but I believe they also had this uh, this gold housing on it as well so that's the easiest way to tell these do tend to leak a little bit it's not uncommon for these things to leak but again they are fully rebuildable unlike the standard ones where you just replace them these you can send send them out and have them rebuilt 
if uh, they were leaking or something happened to them. So, But these are very expensive to find if the car doesn't have them. So if it doesn't have these, um, you may want to pass up that car or ask for a considerable amount, of, considerable amount of money off as these are extremely hard to find because they only made these suspension for this car for the four year or the three year period from dynamic suspension as well. And lastly, you had the dash plaque. Dash plaque is right there in front of the cigarette uh, lighter. On the uh, 2002 Vipers that had the, the final edition package, I believe the FE plaque superseded the standard ACR plaque. Um, so that's the only difference that there might be. So those are all the options for the uh, competition ACR group. That was $10,000 for that group. If you wanted to have the air conditioning and the radio put back in, it was an additional $1,100 to put it back in. So it, you still got the standard Alpine stereo that it came with and the normal air conditioning. Um, last year, a very well-known auction house sold a... It was a legitimate 01 Viper ACR. However, they advertised it as having the comfort package. But if you looked closely in the photos, this was not correct. And it was very easy to tell. If you're looking at, at a car that's claimed to have an ACR with the comfort package, you, there's two ways to tell. The biggest way, number one, open the hood. If it doesn't have this, it is not... A car that has the comfort package. This is the dryer for the air conditioning system. Now obviously you can look under the hood and see if the air conditioning compressor, if you look down there, you can see if it's there or not. This is the easiest way to tell. You don't have to go hunting under the hood. So if this has this dryer, then it has the air conditioning system. Also, if inside this snowflake symbol for the air conditioning if there is a black sticker over this it is one of the acrs that did not have the comfort package they use the same control panel they just put a black sticker over it uh, for the non-air conditioning cars and i have seen some of these where they've had to put the stereo in but you don't know know if it's an aftermarket stereo or not that was put into a, a correct comfort package car so this is the standard stereo for the car it was an alpine but as far as knowing if it's truly a car with a comfort the comfort package uh, that's the easiest way to tell look for the snowflake symbol on the air conditioning setting and then look for the dryer under the hood so this is what made the ACR different from the standard GTS uh, the ACR package was only available in the GTS with the exception of one RT10 ACR that Chrysler made as a raffle car there's very little information about that car that car was a true one-off car and uh, you don't really see too much information on it on the internet I hope this was very informative. If you are looking for an ACR, now you know what all the correct options are and how to know if the car is truly has all its correct features. Thanks for watching.